Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a stop motion on Windows Live Movie Maker. So, you just go into your Windows Live Movie Maker, and for some odd reason, mine's in this file, and I really don't know why. So, I'm just going to go into it, and then if this comes up, I just push close. I don't really know what it is. So, you can either click here, or you can click here to add photos. And so then you just click your pictures. And I'm just going to open a random stop motion, an old stop motion. So. Yeah, it's a lot of pictures. So anyways, um, I'm just going to select what you can do to select all of your photos is you click your mouse, hold down, and then just browse over all of the photos you want. And I'm not going to use all of them, I'll just do some. And then you push OK and it will put them into um, Windows Live Movie Maker. And so you push edit and then you'll see this little thing, it's called durotation, or durotation, sorry, you can't pronounce anything today. <laughs> Um, and sorry if you can't really see this, I'm recording it from my camera, so it's kind of hard. Um, anyways, it'll start at 7 seconds, you're just going to click on that and push backspace. And then, you don't have to, but for a stop motion I recommend typing in 0 0.1 seconds, and then you push enter. And then each picture will be um, 0.1 10 seconds long. And so, but if you accidentally click on one single photo, then just that photo, well, mine were all highlighted. But if you only have one photo highlighted, then just that single photo will be however many seconds long. So see, these are all... 0.1 seconds and this one is 5 seconds just to show you an example and so if this happens and you want to select all the photos you right click and you push this little thing called select all and it'll s highlight all the photos again and so then you just type in however long you want them so anyways that's how you put in the pictures and then if you want a title then you can push title here and it'll come up black and, um, and so you can just type in whatever you want it to be called so just type in PG stop motion PGSM I mean <laughs> and then if you want to change it um, the word cal uh, the font, then you click this and it'll show up with a bunch of fonts and so you can change it to anything you like here. Like that, and then you can change the color. I'll go to more colors. And then if you, and then here's what it will look like at the beginning. And for mine, I got mine updated for free. Um, I can outline my text. So you can have a extra thick outline, thick, medium, or narrow. I usually push narrow or medium outline when I do an outline. And then you do the same thing. Just choose the color you want. I'm just going to choose a random color. And then... My thing it has a glitch or something. It's pretty annoying, but <laughs> anyway, so it's not going to show up right now. And so, ah, <laughs> you can see it's kind of glitchy. And then, um, mine, since it has a glitch, it shows the stop motion weird, but it won't actually turn out like this. So you push play, and then it'll come la up like this. And just start playing your stop motion.
And so see, that's all I have. But that's what it will look like. And then if you want to add sound, then you click. If you don't already have this, then click your start menu. Start, and then I see I already have my sound recorder, but if you don't have that, then you type it in in the search programs and files, sound recorder, and it should come up like this, and so you can click on this or right click. If you want it um, put to your start menu, and so you can, mine, I'd unpin it, but um, you'd push pin to start menu, and then uh, it would stay to your start menu. So that's how you get the little sound recorder. So then you click on that, and it'll come up like this. So then you push start recording, and then, hi, this is Valerie, and it's a tap. And this is a test. So you can just say whatever you want, push stop recording, and usually for me at least it goes to documents, but you want it, you don't have to, but you can say save to music and then change the file name to whatever you like. So I have a lot of random file names. <laughs> And so you push save. And then if you want to record while you're watching your stop motion, which I like to do, then you can move your little bar or your sound recorder down by the play button. And then you can push play and then push start recording when your stop motion comes up or when you want to say whatever. So then you just push start recording. Hello, I'm talking right now. <laughs> and then push stop recording when you want to be done talking. Again, save it. And then push save. And then when you want to be done with it, just X out and go to the top of your file, or stop motion, I should say, sorry. And then you can either push add music right here, or you can click the little arrow and it'll come up with this. And you can push add music at current point and then click on the saved file so we can do any of these files and then you just push open and it appeared right here because my um, bar was right here so but you can if you want to if it appears in a picture that you don't want it to or it appears in a weird spot, then you just click on it and push move, and it'll move to where you want it to. You can just go up. Cut to the very beginning, or you can just push. Eh. And so now the sound is on your start motion. So, so you watch, you push, and unfortunately you can't really um, overlap sounds unless you push. Um, sorry, my mouse is all over. Um, for me, you can push record narration, which I don't really know what that is. So I just push the little arrow and push add sound and it will take me right back to my music and so I can just click another file I can push 
this open and see it appears right there again. Or I want to do the same, anyways. So I can move that just like I moved the voice recording file or the other music file. Sorry. <laughs> And so you just push play again. Okay. Here it goes. And so see it kind of overlapped there. That was kind of a bad example, but anyways, that's how I kind of overlap when I want to. And so and that's the only way you can have music playing in the background and have talking and stuff, and then if you want to delete something, or you can push music tools, and wherever you have this bar, you can push split, and see then it'll split the file, so if you want you can delete one, or you can just adjust the sound or where it is, because it shows right here volume of the music, so you can change that to loud or mute, or right in the middle. And you can do the same with the narration. If you want to have it fade out or fade in, then you can push this little arrow. Push fast, medium, slow, or none if you don't want it to fade out at all. And then if you want like a visual effect, black or white, black and white, or something like that for a photo, then you can push visual effect. And it'll come up with all of these, so then you can push this little arrow thing. It'll show you all of them, or you can just push the scroll down. And so you can change it to any of these. Like if you're doing a photo shoot, you can do something like um, the photos blurred out until the next photo or something like that. Or it can change color, things like that. So, and then if you need it brighter, which it doesn't usually look good, or if you want it darker, you can click brightness, and it's in the middle, so you can make it brighter. Or... Here's the glitch again. You, it usually goes um, dull, but or darker. Sorry. Uh. And so that's pretty much it. And then when you're done, you push. Oh, and then here's animations. You can. This is also you can use for a photo shoot. Um, just so the pictures transition into another one. So, anyways, when you want to save your video, then you click the home button, and then you push save movie, you click it, a little arrow, and I've tried putting it directly on YouTube and it does not work for me, I have problems with it, so I say save for my computer, and it'll come up like this, and I'll show the date, so you can just call it whatever you want. Just call it high. <laughs> and then you push save. And so it takes a couple of minutes, depending on how long your stop motion is. If it's really short, then it won't take long, as you can see. Mine's almost done saving. And so that's pretty much it on how to make a stop motion. And if you have, and see it done now. And so you can watch it, you can push play if you want to watch it right now, or you can just push close, and then push X when you want to exit out, and always save before exiting out. And so it's going to ask me if I want to save changes to May 14th, 2013, and you want to push no, unless you haven't saved yet. You push no, and then it'll take me directly back to my home screen. And if you want to put the video on YouTube, then you push, yes, here's my homepage, upload, and then you push 
select files. I'm not actually going to upload this, but when you click the file you want to upload and then you'll push open and it'll take you to all of that. So that's how you make a stop motion and up add sound and upload it on YouTube. So I hope this helped and thank you so much for watching. Bye!